Hi guys, it's Nancy and we are going to play with another new stamp release from Kitchen Sink Stamps. This is part of the July 2020 stamp release and it is called Multi-Step Trout Fishing. So, I printed out and foiled two backgrounds from the new Kitchen Sink Stamps wallpaper collection, which is um, printable backgrounds that you can foil or leave alone. So this one is the Waves. And you can see I did it in some blue kind of wavy foil. That's from um, the now retired Creative Vision stamps. And then this one is the fish. And this one, my foil was wrinkled right there. So I'm going to leave that in the middle and we can cover that up. But look at those scales. I did that with the mermaid foil. So I haven't decided which one I want to use, but they are both ready to go. So here is the new stamp set. And I've already die cut... Um, some elements from the free SVG that you get when you purchase the stamp set. You just put the SVG in your um, basket and then it's free. And there is a color guide in here to make this look like a rainbow trout, which you guys know I love my fishing. I caught the biggest trout of my life this year. It was 25 and a half inches long. So I'm very proud of that. Okay, so anyway... Here is the fish, and then here are the little die cuts. They almost look like little wooden signs. So we have two sizes of those. And then we have, um, these are the posts for those. So we can put those there. And then here is the fish. And you can see that the die cut cuts perfect size there, okay? And this one is the... Um, or this one I use my scan and cut to cut it out. But you can use your Cricut Joy. Ooh, yeah, you're right. You can use your Cricut Joy. You can use your um, Silhouette machine. Any kind of electronic die cutting machine that you can set up with your computer. All right, so let's get started. This is my Mini Misty. And I have a little piece of Ranger Sticky Grid inside there. And what that's going to do is just help hold my die cut in place while I stamp on it. And these are brand new stamps. I have not used them yet. So you'll see me ink up with Versamark first before I do anything. Now, this little guide you can use as your layering guide. So it gives you an idea on where to put the stamp. I like to store my stamps on here. It makes it easier for me in knowing what, what each layer is instead of just relying on this. So you'll see as I stamp, I'll take it off this clear sheet and put them on, move them onto here. All right, so the first one they're saying is Memento New Sprout, which is looks like a kind of a lime green color. Which, if you've caught rainbow trout, they are kind of like white and silvery, and then they um they have this streak of almost like purple in the center of them. But they do have a quite a bit of different colors in them, which is why they're called rainbow trout. All right, now that picked up my paper. Let's see if I can get it to release. Nope, I'm gonna have to line it up again. That happens with new stamps sometimes. Let me just ink that up a little versamark, make it less sticky. Put that down again. All right, so I'm going to use some Hero Arts Lime Green on that first layer. And you can get the um, color layering guide options with different ink companies on the Kitchen Sink Stamps blog. I'll link that down below for you. There's also a Facebook group. It's um, Multi-Step Stamping Fans of Kitchen Sink Stamps. So check that out as well. That's pretty cool. That's layer number one. All right, let's see what they're saying for layer. And again, you can switch up the order that you stamp these in. You don't have to stamp these one, two, three, four, five. You can go five, four, three, two, one, whatever your preference is. All right, okay, for layer number two, they're saying 
bamboo leaves on the top and the fins and rosebud on the belly. Okay, so we're splitting up number two into two different colors. Oh, my die cut's lifting. I think I need to put some new sticky grid down. So bamboo leaves is a little bit darker green and then a little bit of kind of a lighter pink in the in the uh, belly there. So let's go with Forest from Hero Arts. And we're going to do that on the top of the fish. Okay, and then a little bit of a, let's do this one, Rouge from all to new. My fish just looks bloody. I don't think I did that right. <laughs> Let me line that up again. I think I need a little more pink on there. The green looks great. I just think the pink Needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Let me fix that. All right. And we're only on layer two, so I'm sure it'll change as we add the layers. Okay. Layer three is Sweet Plum, so a light purple. Do a little Versa mark on that. Okay, so what do I have for light purple? Let's see here. Okay. I'm going to do all to new lavender fields on that layer. That's really getting realistic looking. It's, it's always amazes me when I stamp these out at how real they look. Okay, layer four is rich cocoa, which is a brown color. And of course, you can change the look of this trout to a brown trout or brook trout just by changing the colors you lay down. I'm going to do some Versa mark on that. And I have cocoa ink from Hero Arts. Yeah. So you can see I use quite a different um, variety of colors. You don't have to, you know, the, the color guide really helps spread it out based on the inks that you have. Okay, that is really starting to look like a real trout. Oh my gosh, I love this. Okay, layer five is the detail layer and she uses black on that.
and we're going to use our VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink on that one. Wow. That does look like a real trout. I am loving this stamp set. And for those of you that struggle with masculine cards, these are really great nature scenes and they're very easy to do. It takes, you know, just a couple times of doing them and then you get great practice in. This one has a little fly hook as well. And then the sentiments are really cute. It says, um, you're a great catch gone fishing and best fishes. So I'm going to just move all of these to my color guide here. I mean to the uh, yeah, layering guide. So now I have them all on here and then I have a little extra piece of acetate that I can use in a shaker card or for alignment. I just put that in my drawer. So they're, they're all in there now. Very easy to store. Now, let me show you my little trout buddy here. Look at all of that dimension. And it's just stamped out and layered. That is so freaking cool, you guys. I love it. All right. So, what do we want to put him on? Do we want to put him on here? I even think like putting him on action wobbler would be cool. On here. Oh, I think I like him better on here. And then we can use one of these signs. We have a big one and a little one. Oh, I lost my stem. Where'd the leg go? Under the mat, I bet. Nope. What'd I do with it? I did have two in the very beginning. This is the larger sign. Oh, it was right behind it. Jeez, Nats. All right. Oh, let me show you guys some of the other stamp sets this would coordinate with because they were launched last summer, and I think these would be perfect with that. Hold on. You can make a really nice scene with this. So some of the new ones that were launched last year were um, this Shoreline Rocks one. So if you fish for trout, a lot of times it's in a trout stream. This would be perfect to put some of these rocks down below. Um, here is the bass fish. So again, you have two different fish here. The bass fish was released last summer, um, but now we have the trout. What else was there? Oh, the fishing basket and um, the reel and the creel. Hold on. Let me find them for you guys. But it's great to pre-make some of these masculine cards. And then if you have, you know, a masculine birthday coming up. I know Father's Day has just passed, but you can keep it in mind for next year. You know, somebody who's retiring, maybe this would be a great set to have for them. Maybe somebody going on vacation. This one was released last year. The multi-step cattails would go with that as well. Oh, here it is. Fishing creel and reel. So this is actually a trout basket and a reel you could use. Here is the fisherman's hat and tackle where it actually has the hat. It has some bobbers. It has some little flies on there. So quite a few stamp sets are in the kitchen sink stamps released from last year. This is the birch bark canoe that this trout just fits right in with that stamp set. So um, if you're not sure 
you know, how to use this set or what kind of coordinating stamps. You might already have some of these in your stash. Just got to take a look and pull them out. But those are definitely the ones I was thinking, hey, these would work out great with this. Oh, even this one, the Isle of the Big Bay Lake, because you can make this as the background. I made this one with the bass stamp not too long ago where I had the bass jumping out of the lake. So really, really cute set there too. So Isle of the uh, Big Bay Lake, Birch Bark Canoe, Fisherman's Hat and Tackle, Fishing Creel and Reel, Multi-Step Cattails and Shoreline Rocks, and of course, the bass. They all coordinate with this trout. So if you're looking for, again, masculine stamps, these all coordinate together and work really well together. But I wanted to stamp that trout out so you guys could see it. I will do some kind of a scene here. I think just doing the sign and gone fishing is kind of too plain for our little trout here. So I think what I'll do is end up doing maybe a scene with the Big Bay Lake, the um, creel and the reel, and having the trout on there would be a little bit nicer for me. So I will work on that. Let me show you guys the other stamp sets and the other cards I did make while I have you here. So again, this one is called Multi-Step Trout Fishing. And you get that nice trout fish and you get those cute sentiments and the little fly on there. And then again, the SVG cutouts give you the two signs with the posts and of course the trout fish. And then here are the other ones. I've already done videos on these. If you didn't catch them, I will link them at the end for you. This one is the tropical fish multi-step and I kept calling it an angel fish and it's not an angel fish it's a tang something tang fish <laughs> so I apologize for that but you get a clown fish and if you notice I'll go through the backgrounds with you guys as well but this was really easy to put together again I'll link the video for you guys on that one and here it is multi-step tropical fish also part of the July 2020 release with kitchen sink stamps and then another beautiful stamp set. This one's called Multi-Step Giant Coral and Seahorse. This is a larger stamp set, but here you can see how beautifully they stamped out. I mean, doesn't that seahorse look realistic? So beautiful on that one as well. And then we also have some new printable backgrounds that you can print and decide to foil if you want. So I will show you those again. We have the fish. We have the waves. This one is some fun fishing bobbers. Okay. This one is just a hodgepodge of all kinds of fishing elements. So you have bobbers, you have the fishermen, you have different size hooks, you have some spoons, some flies. So lots of fun there. Great background. This one is some uh, beachy themed sand dollars and shells so here it, here's what it prints like and i would recommend printing it you have to print it on a laser printer to foil it but you can print it on any printer if you want to use the background and you can of course ink blend over it but in order to foil it it has to be printed on a laser printer and i do recommend picking up some semi-gloss or glossy paper to print that on it just accepts the foiling um, and the toner a lot easier you don't have the dust residue or the fallout so i foiled that one in two different kinds of foil so there's one and here's the other. Really cool. And then this one is the seaweed one. So again, here it is printed out. And here it is foiled. Now I recommend if you're going to stamp, you should print, stamp, and then foil it. Because if you foil over our ink blend over the uh, stamp over the foiling, it's just going to smudge. Um, unless you're going to purposely do ink blending. And I'll show you what that looks like here in just a second. And I also cut it out of Yupo paper. So this is extra thick Yupo paper. And I made a stencil with it. So if you look on this card, that's actually the Yupo paper stencil I used. And just ink blended some green ink over that. And again, I made a video on this that'll show you that. And then on this one, I actually foiled it and I ink blended over the foiling and used some uh, water reactive ink, which lifted and made these cool little like bubbles in the water. So I did do these videos. I will link those for you guys. Let me know which stamp set out of the three you think you like the best down in the comments below. So we have the giant coral and seahorse. We have Tropical Fish, which has the 
tang fish and the clown fish. And then we have the multi-step trout. So let me know out of the three which one you like down below. And again, here are the images that we have stamped out and the videos will be linked for you guys on these two cards that I have already made. Don't forget to go to Kitchen Sink Stamps and check out their new background printables that you can print and foil if you print with a laser printer. And of course, here is our brand new little trout. Beautiful. If you have any questions, post them down below. If you like this video, I do appreciate your thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber and you're new to my channel, welcome. Click the subscribe button and the bell and you'll get notifications every time I post a new video. Down below, I will link the Kitchen Sink Stamps Facebook page and also the Kitchen Sink Stamps blog where you can um, check out those color combinations and also the store where you can purchase these stamps. Thanks for watching and keep on stamping. Bye-bye. Hi guys, it's Nancy. I just stamped out this beautiful trout from the brand new release from Kitchen Sink Stamps. Look how realistic he's looking. This is the multi-step trout fishing stamp. Um, it's a little mini stamp. And um, I showed at the end of the video when I was done some of the stamp sets I think would coordinate with it. And so I thought I would put together a little scene. So I'm going to use these two stamp sets, the Isle of the Big Bay Lake and the Fishing Creel and Reel. So my thought is to make this almost look like the fishing bank where I have the creel here. And then I put the little lake there in the background and then we can have our our fish there, right? Because that's, if you guys ever looked at my, my pictures on my Instagram, um, or my, my Facebook page, Nancy Stamps 15, I go fishing quite often and I go to this little local lake and that's what it looks like. So I think I need to start with this one first, which is the Isle of the Big Bay Lake. These were released last year from Kitchen Sink Stamps. Beautiful, beautiful stamps and they all coordinate nicely. And I love, love these little scenery stamps. And you really cannot mess it up. You really can't. So easy to do. So let me see here. I move this up. You see how big my little basket is? I'm trying to do all of this one. Ooh, layer. Sorry about that. Bumped you guys. We should be okay there, even if I overlap on the water a little bit. All right, so use a little bit lighter blue. Actually, I'm going to grab my Catherine Pooler inks. And I'm using a piece of Nina Solar White 80 pound classic crest. Um, it's cut down to, I think, five and a quarter by four. All right, so I'm going to start with. Fiesta blue, which is a little bit lighter blue. These ink pads are just so juicy. They're so easy to use. Mm. You know what? I'm going to leave it like that because that adds to the to the layered look. I'm actually not going to fix that. Clean my stamp off and go in with layer number two. And for 
for that, we're going to do something borrowed, which is a little bit darker blue. Okay, and we have our beautiful lake water. Or water, if you're from Pennsylvania. <laughs> Water. And since I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my little my little island of trees. We want a little bit darker color, so I'm going to add my Versafine Claire's to the mix. I think I will do some dark greens. And we're going to do Shady Lane. These are pigment inks, so they will sit on top and look pretty vibrant when we stamp them out. You'll see. Oh, moved it. Luckily, it really doesn't matter with this stamp set because um, when you layer the second set, you don't have to put it right on top, which I normally don't. I offset it, so it's okay. That's not going to matter that it moved a little bit. set and like I said normally offset that a little bit and I'm gonna go in with a little bit darker green this is rainforest Good. And then if you wanted to bring that island across a little more. Again, we're using Shady Lane for that first layer. second layer I just pull down and move to the right a little bit and that one we are going to do in rainforest you could go all the way across I like to leave a little space on the end there so it looks like it's a little island So done with that stamp set. And again, that was Isle of Big Bay Lake. You get two little water scenes and two little uh, tree scenes there. All right, now we're going to do the fishing creel. I'm just going to go down here. And 
because it's going to be dark brown, I'm okay if I layer it over top there. It should cover, should cover all of that water. In fact, we could probably move this up a little bit. And again, I'm going to use the Versafine Claire inks. Start with some acorn. That might be a little dark, actually. I'll probably, let's stamp that off first. go. It's layer one. For layer two, I'm actually going to use the same color, but we're going to do it full strength. So that's the acorn. There we go. See how dark and rich that is. We're not going to have any problems covering up that water. more depth and dimension to our little basket there. See that coming together nicely. And then layer four is our final layer. are going to do in fallen leaves. Really dark brown, almost black. And there you can see our fishing basket. It looks so realistic, like all of the other stamps in this collection. Now, I'm not going to do the reel this time. What I'm going to do is a little sign that came with the trout stamp. Again, this is the fishing creel and reel set, so we just used the basket. And then part of the trout fishing stamp set came um, SVG, which was a little sign. And I thought we could put just uh, gone fishing on that little sign. And of course, put our trout on here. Yeah, like he just reeled it in. That's going to look cute. Okay, 
So let me pull this off of here. Now I'm going to grab some blending tools. So for our ground and our sign here, I'm going to use a little tea dye ink. This is the stress ink. And I'm going to swipe the ink on there. Also going to swipe the same ink along the bottom of our seam here. Let me grab this piece of paper. I can use this as a mask so that it doesn't get into our water. I'm going to ground, grab some ground espresso, which is a much darker brown. Go in with this little brush and just kind of add some dimension to this. So it looks like dirt. Okay, so our ground is done. I'll take a little bit more of that brown ink and again, just kind of swipe it across our little sign here. Give it that woodsy look. Grab that just gone fishing sign here. And I'm going to grab that Fallen Leaves ink again from Versifying Claire. I'm going to ink that up right here on my sign. Perfect. And now you can see how this is going to come together. So cool. Oh, I need to add a little color to our sky there. I think it would look better with a little bit of blue. Glass distress ink. I can even carry some of that blue into the water so it's not so white.
go. All right, let me grab a little bit of foam tape. Because foam tape makes everything more fun. And for the sign, I'm just going to glue that down and then just pop up our trout. It would almost be fun to mask this like he's coming out of the basket. <laughs> but I think that right there really sets it off. That is so cute. Let me show you the stamp sets again. Again, the trout is part of the new July 2020 Kitchen Sink Stamps release. There were three stamps released. This one is... The multi-step trout fishing in which you get that layered trout. You get a couple of cute sentiments. You're a great catch, best fishes, and gone fishing. You get a little fly hook there. And then don't forget, if you add to your basket the free SVG as you're checking out with the stamps, you will get the SVG of the trout. You'll get the sign with the uh, post. And then there is another sign with a little bit longer post, a little bit bigger sign with a little bit longer post. And again, it coordinates with so many stamp sets that is already in the kitchen sink stamps library um the cabin in the woods things like that and here is the other stamp sets i used that were part of last year's release which is the multi-step fishing creel and reel and the multi-step aisle of big bay lake the other two stamp sets that were released were the tropical fish set which you can see that i used here and some great sentiments there. And again, the SVG will cut out the fish and some banners for you, including this little swirl banner and also this long fishtail banner. So fun set there. And then the other stamp set that was released is the multi-step giant coral and seahorse. And you can see it's a large set. You get the large coral, the couple seahorses, some smaller seahorses, and again, the SVG to cut all of those out. Also, you can see in the background here, I have used a stencil here. I have used foiling here. There are some new Kitchen Sink Stamps printable backgrounds, um, some SVGs that you can cut into stencils. So this is the wave background, which I've printed with my laser printer and foiled it. You must print it with a laser printer. This one is the background of fish. This one is fishing bobbers. Here I've taken the SVG and I've cut this out of heavy Yupo and I made the stencil, which is what I used on the tropical fish card. And here I printed it on my laser printer and then foiled it. This is the um, sand dollars. I foiled this in two different foils. It's a blank one there. Here's another fishing background. And on this one, I ink blended it. And these two videos, I will link for you guys. If you have any questions about anything, post them down below. If you like this video, I do appreciate your thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, click the subscribe button and the bell to get notifications whenever I post a new video. Let me know which card you like the best. So we have the Tropical Fish. We have the Seahorse. 
And now we have the new trout. So let me know which one you like the most down in the comments. I will link everything for you. Check out the Kitchen Sink Stamps blog for color combinations with using other ink companies and also the Facebook group Multi-Step Stamping Fans of Kitchen Sink Stamps. And of course, I'll link their website so that you can get your hands on these stamps for yourself. Thanks for watching, guys. Keep on stamping. Bye-bye.